All right, let's back up. Let's back up. He's chasing me right now. I see someone here on the mini map. Remember, guys, you don't have to take every single gunfight. Just get yourself to safety. Stay on that streak. I'm out. Stick and move like I was saying. Welcome back to another Live Tips Tuesday video where I pretty much just go through my thought process play by play and just try to help you guys understand the game of Call of Duty, you know, of course, Cold War in general here. And uh, pretty much how to utilize these tips to help improve your game. So if you guys missed my previous episodes, make sure to check those out. You guys seem to really be enjoying the tips and tricks and it's been helping you guys out. All right, so today we're going to be actually using a subscriber MP5 class setup, which is going to be one of my videos later on in this week, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So uh, pretty much in the series, I try to explain as best as I possibly can how I navigate around the map, my decision making. Main thing I usually do on TDM is I like to uh, uh, push push either side of the map. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking straight right now. Usually I uh, let things develop, I wait, but I don't know why I just rushed that, so... So again, we know that there's some. There he is. Okay, he's gonna be coming around for the flank. Let's pre-aim this. Of course, everything I'm doing is super exaggerated, but uh, I feel like it's it's best for you guys to learn. So flanking is the key aspect in TDM that I really utilize a lot, and I always take note of where my teammates are on the map in relation to me. So wherever they're at, I try to avoid them. Uh, having having one other person with me is. Uh, it's okay. It, it's definitely the exception. So the whole whole process behind flanking the enemy right is just about being able to attack the enemy from behind because they're so focused on my teammates. All right, so we're too close to each other again. So I'm going to go the opposite way. And as you can see in the middle of the map, it, it's there's way too much activity there. So I see someone here on the mini map. There he is. Got him. Make sure to utilize that mini map to your advantage. C4. Oh, no. Was there somebody camping at the bar? Yeah. Bro, serve me up some drinks. Let me show you guys exactly why going through the middle is really tough. See, I, I barely just peeked that, and he already uh, almost killed me right there. So I'm going to go the opposite way. I believe they're hanging out in the kitchen right now. So I'm going to go for a flank. Remember, stick to the outskirts. I'm pretty much literally on the outskirt right now. Use this as head, head glitch. Oh, oh my gosh. My reaction was super late on that. All right, I got to I got to pull it together, guys. I'm actually going to go back this way cuz my teammates are all in the middle. So in theory, we should be able to get a nice flank cuz like I said, they look at them. Look at them on the mini map. They're all in the kitchen right now. It's going to be a great flank. Arming C4. Oh no, that would have been so nice to get that guy. Oh my gosh. Ooh. All right, teammate died over here. Let's get this guy. What? TDM is a very, very campy game mode. So that's why you got to be extra hyper aware. There he is again. Incoming stun grenade. Incoming stun grenade. Okay, that was nice. That was very nice as well. I'll take it. I'll take it. You got to think quickly, guys. You got to realize everything you see on the minimap and also uh, the situations you're in. Oh my gosh. Where, where did that guy come from? Let me see. Dude, they are everywhere. Literally everywhere. Oh, cruise missile. We got to get inside. We have no choice. Oh no. Okay, that was that was just boneheaded move by me. And they got a napalm coming up. Hopefully this helps save us. Okay, we got a guy flanking over here. See him on the mini-map. Yeah, he just went in. Nice flank. Mini-map really is key. It tells you everything. So the opponents, they should be in the middle of the map. Get a kill and move on, guys. Don't even try to push any further. Let me hack that first. I'm going to pre-aim this as I know I know they're spawning in here. Or this is where they should spawn in. Let's see if we can get a flank here. Remember, like I said, they should be concentrated on my teammates. There we go. I think there's a guy laying down right here. 
Like Serious, bro? Okay, spawns have flipped, obviously, so we're gonna push this. Dude, these guys are camping everywhere. Let's see if we can uh, get a kill here. Take this guy out. He's just camping over here. Oh my gosh. 14 and 9 so far. Yep, he's still there. So I decided to go opposite route of my, where my teammates are at. Now I'm going to go check their spawn. Should be spawning in over here. Nice. Let's see if he decides to push. Nope. He didn't want to push. All right, let's back up. Let's back up. He's chasing me right now. I see someone here on the minimap. Remember, guys, you don't have to take every single gunfight. Just get yourself to safety. Stay on that streak. I'm out. Stick and move, like I was saying. It's calling this UAV now. Losing jammer. Got him. Heard his footsteps right above me. There's another guy coming up here. Okay, we got our uh, straight run. Let's call this in now. Game is really close to ending. Go down here. Let's trick this guy. Bust out the street sweeper. Perfect. Man's really over there swimming right now. No, I pushed it. I pushed it way too hard. So at that point, when you do get your harp, uh, it's pretty much just follow the Doritos. Okay, so they took it out, obviously. Nice kill, teammate. Can we make this comeback, though? Oh, no. They're in their spawn now. So I pushed that a little too hard. We got seven kills left. Again, stick into the outskirts of the map. This ain't the cleanest gameplay, but we were able to get all our streaks. Okay, you guys see how I utilize that slide around that corner? Literally the little things, guys. The little things do help out a lot. So we should be able to get the W here. Now I'm just going to play a little bit more aggressive. I mean, we have the uh, advanced UAV up, so... Uh, we finished off with a 2.64 KD, 29 and 11. Like I said, not the cleanest gameplay, but I'm not here to cherry pick my gameplays and try to go for a flawless and, you know, pretend like this is how every single game goes. Uh, but yeah, this is just the reality of it, guys. Like, you have to learn how to read the minimap, see where your uh, teammates are in relation to where you are, flank around, stick to the outskirts, and... Just try to attack the enemy from behind, utilize movement to your advantage around objects, and just be hyper aware. When it comes to TDM, it's it's really the best game mode to do some flanking, especially since with TDM, most people, they like to play aggressive. They like to just take on the enemies head on. Stay out of the circle of the map. Look at where your teammates are. More often than not, they're going to be... Um, the enemies are going to be trying to, uh, to get into gunfights with our, uh, teammates. So go around the long way, go for the flank, shoot the enemy from behind, take the easy kills, build up your streaks, use your streaks to your advantage. I got the UAV, which helped me to see where the enemies are. And then after that, we got our strafe run and then the strafe run led to an advanced UAV. And we ultimately came for the win, come back for the win. So, uh, it's pretty basic guys. Pre-aim around corners using movement to our advantage, and also just being smart about our positioning. So if we're trying to hold down an area and we see that our teammate is holding down one line of sight, then I don't really need to pay attention to that line of sight until my teammate dies. So that's where I'm going to pay more attention to that area and be ready for the next gunfight. And just try to outsmart your opponents as much as possible. And that's pretty much the key. So Hopefully you guys found today's gameplay useful in any way, shape, or form. Make sure to leave a like if you would like me to continue this Live Tips Tuesday series. And uh, yeah, guys, like I said, it wasn't a perfect gameplay, but we ended the game positive and we came through with the win. Hopefully this helped out. Oh, and before I leave, 
Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this class setup first. I just want to show you guys what I was using because I know someone's going to ask for the class setup. And guys, you know, I know this video is probably not going to do as well as my other class setup videos. Uh, so that's why I'm going to give you guys the treat of checking out this MP5 class setup that I was using in today's gameplay and also a preview for this week's coming video. So for the MP5, we got the agency suppressor, we got the reinforced heavy, field agent grip, uh, salvo 40 round fast mag, and the collapse stock. And uh, here is my street sweeper class setup. I got the duckbill choke, ranger, five milliwatt laser, 18 round drum, as well as the wire stock. And I got the stim shot C4 jammer. And here's my perk combination setup if you wanna go in and copy it. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching all the way through to the end of the video. If you guys did make it this far, comment down below MP5. So I know that you guys made it this far to the class setup portion. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Leave a like, support this series, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. I just want to give a big thank you to our members for supporting Turbo Nation and this channel. This channel is driven by the support of you guys and I really appreciate it. And if you would like to join the channel as a member, go ahead to my homepage or check the link in description and click that join button to enjoy these loyalty badges as well as these emojis that you can put in the comments and show your allegiance to the Turbo Nation. But anyways guys, I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.